Welcome back, welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Emerald Iron. Oh my gosh, I've I've been saying that too much. I am already forgetting how to say it. Um Pokemon Emerald Iron Mon National Dex House Lock. In the last episode, we got the first route in the rival battle, which was a doozy, to say the least. It took way too long. Um so hopefully we'll get some better Pokemon in this next route or two. And be able to start making a better team so we can actually get to these battles a little bit quicker. So, starting right off with an encounter. First patch of grass. Okay, not wasting any time. A Darumaka. Okay. Okay. <sighs> this is me. <sighs> um, also, everybody else, on like two people. Like, you had a timer ball at the beginning. You technically started the Nuzlocke. Wham, wham, wham. Big whoops. Only thing I would have changed is if I would have noticed that. I would have caught a second Pokemon, grinded it up, and just went from there. But that's no fun. That's no fun. So we're going to start with this. We got first nickname I see. Actually, it was just posted like two minutes ago. It's Bubba. Bubba the Darumaka. Uh, and then we're going to go up and we're going to go into the forest and get our encounter in here. Also, a cool little thing is there's a nurse right here to heal you. So we got our encounter in the forest. I know where all the hidden items are in this game. And another thing got pointed out is, hey, you can heal outside of battle. You can heal. Ooh, a Sinish That's a good mod. That is a good Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I need to make sure I play this game the right way. Like, actual Nuzlocke. You know, I can actually, you know, use items and <laughs> heal up my team and, you know, buy stuff. You know, usually the way I've been playing it has been insane. So it makes it a lot more difficult. Um, let's go with... Oh, excuse me. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I already see the name Alpaca being put down here by multiple people. Uh, let's... I'm going with Beatrice. Beatrice. During the uh, during the Iron Man Nuzlocke we were doing, <laughs> you know, I had to name a lot of po a lot of Pokemon, and uh, I was telling everybody the names I like to go with are pretty much what your great what your great grandmother's name would have been. All right, Disarming Voice, Mega Drain, and Spite. It's pretty good. Ember, Peck, Leer. I like these move sets. The way this move set randomizer is gonna work is pretty cool. Uh, you have Sticky Hold, you have Bolt Absorb. Oh. Ooh. Let's do a little bit of grinding. Grind up a little bit. Grind up a little bit, because I need to remember the fact that I'm into it. I'm in an actual Nuzlocke now, so I need to be a little more prepared for this. Vaporeon. Traced my Shield Dust. So I have Beatrice, I have Mega Drain, I think it was. Bubble Beam. They have Mega Drain. I like this little tracker on the bottom. It'll show all my moves. It'll show things that are super effective, things that are stab. Um, shows your actual stats and everything, which is really cool. So let's do this for a little bit. Get a little bit of experience. Vaporeon will give good experience, so that's good. Get a couple levels on that. I really do think I might use Rebombi. I might stick with it on the team. Okay, um... I'm gonna go Gustavo. Just because their movesets are randomized, I wouldn't be surprised if one of these guys had like Sludge Bomb or something. It's supposed to be set up so that the weaker moves, which seems to be pretty accurate, you know, like I got Ember on this. The other fire type had Ember. Um, but they're supposed to have the weaker moves at the lower parts of their moveset and learn the strong moves later. Um, I've used that setting before in the randomizer and it never seemed to really work correctly. So I was a little unsure if I trusted it, but it seems to be working on this one so far. Okay. Good draining kiss too. Draining kiss could have been a good play. Oh, we got the crit. Nice. Nice. Let's get our guys like level eight, I'd say on most of them. Um, I'm gonna actually do some like actual grinding in this one, so it'll be a little different. 
Usually I would save this type of stuff for like off screen, but I haven't done a Nuzlocke where I kind of like just Ogre Pawn. It's so sick. I love that this is in the game. I'm gonna go for an Ember. We have an Uproar. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oof. Okay, I'm switching. <laughs> I'm switching. I'm gonna go to Beatrice. Um, but normally I do this stuff off screen, but because this is a, I haven't done like a, just a regular Nuzlocke in quite a while. So I want to get a full experience of it. I don't want to speed up through it. I want to just take my time. Um, this game does have a lot of, uh, like skips in it to speed up a lot of like the cutscenes and whatnot and like the dialogue. So. Um, and once we get the team going, get it, find an experience share or something like that, you know, we'll be able to, you know, really, you know, do a lot less grinding and whatnot. But I'm just, because early on, I'm just trying to be careful, make sure my team is, you know, kind of put together so I can actually get through this. All right. It, it does feel so much slower. I've been playing this game on two times speed the entire time. It feels like it's in slow motion. I feel like I'm running through like a swamp the whole time. Up. Oh is what it is um i was kind of thinking i'm gonna heal in battle i think for this one um, i'll play i'll play set mode but this one's gonna be kind of wild oh, i don't have a lot of money this one's gonna be kind of wild as far as you know the teams i'm gonna be going against and whatnot and the move sets are gonna be randomized so like i think i might run into a lot crazier uh pokemon a lot earlier on so I want to give myself a little bit of leeway. All right, can I? There we go. Let's fight okay. But I might try to limit healing in battle. Just because I don't like getting into a situation where I'm like heal spamming or whatnot, but. Okay, level six Mighty Yenna. Let's go into Flask. Pursuit, oh God. Pursuit already coming into play, oh no. Oh no. Not my least favorite move. The animation's so good. I love it. Love it. Uh, also, a little side note, I just looked over at my camera and I was like, this, this hoodie right here, if you guys don't know, is available on my merch website, hgbbreezy.com. Uh, there's a link there. Shop now. Uh, it's only available during this subathon. It was actually a giveaway from the first subathon, and it was never available for sale. And I kind of regretted doing that, so I made it available to purchase during this subathon only. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, this subathon's been going on forever. So uh, the merch is still available. It's up there. This hoodie, and we have uh, the merch that says just the Breezy logo that has it's white and orange, which is a unique. Um, merch that will only be available during this subathon. He just double flitched me with rock slide. I don't have a rock resist on my team. Okay. You, you did the shadow ball on the switch. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Okay. Like. That's fun. Um, I have rock throw on this, right? I do, but that's like not really that helpful. This thing might have a crazy ability. This thing is doing, I mean, Chandler's strong. Bro. You know what, Taco? Might I just have to let you go. Might have to just let you go, I'm sorry. I don't have a switch in. Don't have a switch in for you. Um, I think I have to go Gustavo and just start potioning. My aim's a miss a rock slide or something. Like. Crazy, dude. Blaze kick, okay. Okay, can you not flinch me again? He crit flinched me on the second one, by the way. Three for three. Three for three with lunches. 
Breezy Luck is in full effect today. Zero misses. Three for three with flinches. Four for four. Shadow Ball. Thank you. I'd rather use Shadow Ball. My Lanta, dude. And you color change there now, water type. I'm gonna go for revenge. Well, at least it's no longer stab, so it does less damage. Oh, great. <sighs> we get the crit. Thank the Lord. Oh my gosh. See what I mean? This game is not pulling back. They're not pulling punches here, man. This is going to be a rough playthrough. <laughs> oh my gosh, that move set. Shadow Ball, Fire Blast. I was just saying how, you know, they're supposed to have the weaker moves at the earlier parts of their move sets, but Pokemon like Chandelure, they don't learn any moves because they're a stone evolution. So they just give them a crazy move set right off the bat. Well, I repeat a taco. First death of the playthrough. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I said I probably wasn't going to use it anyway. That's why I let it go. But, golly. Oh, all right. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Keep going. Let's go to the forest. There's a trainer in the forest that has, like, four Pokemon. And it's, like, a bug catcher, so they're all, like, low level. So, hopefully I can grind up against that one a little safely. A little more safely. Oh, yeah, yeah, attack for this item, but not max potion, nice. Do, do, do. This train right here, rich, rich girl over here, has a high level Pokemon and uses a full restore if you need to. Oh, don't like that. I'm gonna switch out. Let's switch out of there. I'm gonna KO this just for the experience. There we go. Nice crit. Bubble of light. Perfect. Mud shot. Let's get rid of Leer. Get rid of Leer. Mud shot could be nice. Alright. Minus nurse heals you up. Let's see what you got, buddy. Go, go, go. My bug Pokemon team. Woo! Kieran Black. Endure. Perfect. Mudshot is 95% accurate. Okay. Again. Should be able to live one hit from this thing. Conversion. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. What are you turn into? Flying type. That's fine. It just ember. And it kills. It does not kill. Oh, you dragon dance. Okay. You're still slow. Because I much shot it twice. Or three times, I don't even know. Okay. One down. I feel like during the playthrough, the Iron Mon, this guy always had a crazy team. And I swear the game doesn't randomize specifically for certain trainers to be good, but it sure felt that way. It sure felt that way. Okay, we get the Mega Drain. Poltergeist is going to be really good. Poltergeist, sorry. I like this Pokemon a lot. Grass Ghost is a really good typing. In my opinion, I like it. I feel like it always is just like really clutch. Diplin. Um, I have Disarming Voice. Perfect. And then, all right. Okay. All right, should be good. Should be good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, now we got to go back. I skipped a trainer. Oh, let me grab this item. Uh, but I skipped the... Fisherman on the beach, and I skipped 
the rich girl right outside of this horse. Blue of milk, another good healing item. I'm actually, I know I can buy heals now. I'm not like restricted to only using the healing that I find, like in an iron one. But I don't have a lot of money right now. So I lost those battles against my rival a couple times. They robbed me blind. Rich girl, give me all my, give me all your money. This girl only has one Pokemon, so. Oh, it's a right period. It's not awesome. We do have Beatrice. Not fast Beatrice. 21 speed. It's pretty okay. Sandstorm. Perfect. Not perfect, but not terrible. Because you didn't do a ton of damage to me, and I'm happy about that. Because I have Mega Drain. I am fast, then you should do a ton of damage. Just one shot's perfect. Bubba level 11. I really shouldn't be grinding up Bubba too much. Oh, I should switch him out. Probably not going to keep him on the team. At least, I mean, I have a Fire-type starter. Uh, let's lead with Hugo. Meow Stick, I might not. I also might not keep on the team. But it's a decent Mon right now. It's like 466 base that total. It's a decent Mon. I might not come across Psychic-type for a while, so... Probably smart to use. <sighs> Steel wing. Interesting thing I learned about Meltan and Melmetal while playing this is that oh yeah. I have Flash Fire. Cool. Um, Meltan does not evolve into Melmetal. The only way you could evolve it is through like Pokemon Go or something like that. I don't know. It has some really strange, like, evolution. It was really, really weird. I had no idea. I just, I didn't really thought about Melmetal too much, except that when it was added into the game, but, and that it was absurdly strong, but I didn't really ever, I never play the main games that much and try to get the Pokemon, so it just never occurred to me, like, how you actually get it. All right. Got the five swing fells. Even if I'm not playing Iron Mon, I still hate wild encounters. They drive me nuts. They drive me nuts. Okay. Looks like we'll be able to get through... I mean, it depends how long these battles take. There's like five more trainers before I can get more encounters. A great Tusk. I mean, I do have Confusion. Oh, hi, ZZ. Hi, buddy. You're so cute. How you doing? Good confusion, big confusion. Nice. GG. Oh man, if I can get some of these Ultra Beasts on my team and the Paradox Mons that are in here, I'll be thrilled. I'll be thrilled. Also, it is so sunny out this morning. And you can tell my lighting is all crazy. And my cat is opening up the blinds. Nice. Nice. Keep it moving, moving, and moving, moving, and moving, moving. Whew. Yeah, the speaker, I was talking about the subathon earlier, how the merch is available. HGBBreezy.com. Um, and, man, this subathon, it is day 43. Today is day 43. Straight days of doing this subathon. It has been insane. Absolutely insane. I can't fathom the fact that this is happening uh it's been a life-changing experience um i'm thrilled honestly i'm exhausted also but thrilled mainly um today may or may not be the last day of it we have about five and a half hours left. five hours and 52 minutes i'll be starting around nine o'clock so that means it would technically go until like what three or something like that but we have not been under two hours once since the subathon started on February 23rd. So, realistically, it's Friday, payday. These heathens don't want to see me go. Probably not going to be ending today, if I'm being honest. But every single day goes on. Honestly, at this point, I was, I've, I've, it's kind of been my mindset right now is like, you guys have already changed my life and every single day it goes on beyond today. It's just more and more life-changing. 
you know the viewership on the videos have gone crazy uh, we're getting back to the youtube now i'm kind of adjusting my life to this new purgatory that i'm in of you know constant streaming every minute that i possibly can and working every minute that i can trying to work around it get up super early go to the gym you know maybe wrap up early here and there just to like go get a dinner with my wife you know not have to call up my boy dr pie um so love you saying bye to my wife she goes away again she's at the doctor's appointment my wife got lasik eye surgery like over a month ago and i unfortunately i was supposed to bring her to the appointment to get it done and then i couldn't because the subathon was still going now she's getting like her monthly like her post-op checkup a month later and i'm still streaming this is doing a lot of damage Tiago, you need to chill buddy hold on uh i probably should have stood in with hugo and just clicked faint attack that's probably the play that's probably the play i was, I was underestimating the fact that this is a bl defense shop of course of course About the same. 28, the 16, and the paralysis. Twister. I hardly even know her. <laughs> Crit. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. Um. Here, little birdie. We're a mud slap. Start missing. Lower your accuracy. What is this gonna do? This is the strongest thing you can hit me with. This is the most of purge, I guess. A 16. We have draining kiss. It's neutral, but it's stab. Special attack's not great. We get a little bit of recovery. Okay, perfect. Perfect. You full restore all your toxic. You are so toxic. I'm gonna mudslap again. He only has one list of purge left after this. 23 crits me again. Are you serious? Crits me again. Are you serious, man? Oh my god, just a skill issue, guys. I know, I know. I try to try to remember that, but God damn, dude. Yeah, I got freaking super luck over here. What's going on? It's not even in the game. Killing me, dude. Yikes. Well, we're on sunny day. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. It's easy. What are you doing? Scratching out the window. Oh, boy. Well, that's fun. That's fun. I thought the first route was difficult. I thought that first section of the game was going to be difficult, but I guess the second section's even worse. Chandelure. Chandelure is one of those Pokemon. Every time I'm doing a Nuzlocke, every time I'm doing a Nuzlocke, Chandelure is always such a problem. It's so strong. Even if you don't randomize movesets or nothing, it normally has like Hex and like Fire bur Flame Burst. I think it's Flame Burst usually has. And it's like just the Stab, Ghost, and Fire moves. It's just so hard to switch into. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I guess we won't be using that Pokemon this whole playthrough. Um... All right, I'll wrap it up here. <laughs> we got like two more battles to do before we go and get more encounters. We have two more encounters we can get. So we'll be going into the gym with a less than full team. Um, Fue Coco should, will be evolving, should be evolving. Um, so we'll get our Crocolore and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to <laughs> get it together here. Get it together, Breezy, we need to get a dub. This has not been a great start, but 
Thank you guys for watching. Leave some more nicknames. We do got some more encounters. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.